Okay. All right. So we're going to talk about Cancun. So right now the mission is to Cancun. So before we get started in the chat, I, I want, first off, I just want people when they come in, do you know about Cancun? What does it represent? Uh, first off, so give me a one if you know about Cancun. Number two, um, it, it, or give me a two if you're confident in what you have to do to achieve it, to, to qualify. If you're not confident, I want you to put a three so I can get an understanding of what it is. So one, if you know about it, I want you to put a two if you know exactly what you need to do to achieve, to qualify. And number three, if you don't, two and a half. Good, good, good. Three. All right. All right. Um, we'll fix that, Derek, for sure. So I want you to really look through this. I mean, hit the chat. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm reading these. So I, I want everybody to hit the chat. If you don't know, that's cool. But I want you to know, hey, number one, do you know about Cancun? Number, number, then I want you to put a two in there if you know exactly what you need to qualify. And number three, if you don't know what you need to qualify. So, um, and so basically, uh, there we go. I'm getting the numbers coming in. Here we go. One and four. I don't even know what a four is, but we'll just assume that they don't know. So before we move on, and I want to give the details of really what it is and know that anybody can hit this. There's nothing that's stopping you from hitting this. And the first step is we got to qualify. That's number one. We got to qualify. And so I want people to really get in their mind is what does it take to get qualified? Because there's a leaderboard, which is great. But at the end of the day, if we're not qualifying, the leaderboard isn't going to make a difference. So we got to be able to qualify. So um, I'm going to encourage everybody, if you haven't already, print these out. These are flyers from the actual Cancun. If you go to the uh, uh, support, you can actually see the flyers and print them out. Have them on your desk. The reason why... It's kind of like if you don't have your goal in front of you, you forget the goal, you forget what you're doing to go get it, right? It'll give you the ability to get action steps in front of you. So this is the first one I want you to keep in front of you. Is it says, how do you qualify? So this is what needs to happen to qualify for Cancun. But before I get into that, we got to play a little video. Um, in the chat, tell me who went to Cancun with us last year. Um, now, full disclosure, I don't know where we're going in Cancun. I just know I'm going. Uh, that's all I know is I'm, I'm going. I don't know where we're going, but I wanted to play a little, a little, uh, a little um, clip of the last year's video. So I know Samantha was there. I know Corey was there. I know Brad Knowles was there. I'm just going through who I can see on my screen. Um, I'm going to play a little video, and I want you just to kind of get a, a, just a little taste of what we did last year. And remember, Prove It does things bigger and bolder than ever, uh, <laughs> ever before. So you guys just bear, bear, bear with me here a second. I'm gonna share this out. Oh, I gotta hit play. Jenny, you can see that? You got to start it from the beginning. I know I didn't need to start it from the beginning. It's so awesome. Most every butterfly I've ever had. That's where your brain is living. 
but you get to determine the direction that you're going. Fearful to be successful or being fearful to to step up and have fun, right? Or to go on your journey. I don't know what it is, but I know every single person in here has something that they just it hasn't hurt bad enough yet for them to make the shift. Right? I want you to use those emotions to get it on that paper so you can identify them. Right? And remember, we're not going to stop them at our pencil. If you know the direction you're going, Jerry McGuire started with him. He knew where he was going, and he said, who's tugging with me? Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> Corey Kelvin goes, I got goosebumps. Hey, Corey, unmute for me a second. If you're, I know you're up or you're traveling right now. If you have a second, you're in Michigan City, I believe. Can you give people just a little glimpse of what it was like to be in Cancun? Now, full disclosure, I don't know if we're going to be at the same resort. Um, I know that's the idea, but we have it. Everything's not finalized, but Cancun's epic no matter where you go. Yeah, you caught me in the middle of my sausage arabata. So I'm yes! like... I was like feeding my face. So I apologize about that. Yeah, honestly, like I had been a prover for about six months at that point. One it's month really in Hotel Eshkodet. Oops, what, what, I got to stop it my video. Yeah, and it was honestly like a turning point for me. I mean, I think just being around um, it, I, like one of the things I lead, look, I lead trips around the world. But I think for me, you have to travel a distance to really begin re rewiring your brain. And I think we could travel like an hour to Louisville or two hours here, but when you go across continents, right? Or I guess Cancun is not necessarily a continent, but to a different country, I mean, it starts triggering different things in your brain. You start thinking differently. And when you're surrounded by the environment that we were a part of, it really allowed me to center and say, okay, I can do this because I was around other people and the motivation, inspiration, it was, it really set the trajectory up for me. And I ended up hitting six, about six months after that. But for me, it was, it was amazing just to be surrounded by that energy and being out of my comfort zone in Florida, right? You're taken completely out and put someplace else. Awesome, man. I appreciate you sharing. Um, Samantha, I know you're on, if you don't mind, unmute and kind of give everybody a little bit of a glimpse. Corey is crazy because Corey literally had his whole account, his TikTok, I think, shut down. And he when he went there and he came out and he's like, I'm going to go. And he just went and smoked it after that. It was really cool to see him overcome that. I mean, that's very devastating. So that was a, that was a cool turning point for you. Hi, Absolutely. everybody. So that trip was so magical for me in so many ways. Uh, not only did I, I had a lot of takeaways, Justin shared a lot with me and he, we got really granular with my business and we got really granular with, with our team's business too. I think that was really, really cool to be able to do that and spend the time together, but also just being in that room with all the people, again, it's always that energy that we get from coming to these events. Proximity is always power. Like, has anybody on here ever left a prove it event and been like, gosh, I shouldn't have done that. Like <laughs> never. Right. So for me, like just going there and being around everybody is, is always incredible. Um, but the, there was trainings, there was growth, there was personal development, there was fun. And I have so many magical memories and so many magic moments that happened for me and for our team to just whatever you do, get as many people there as you can, because, this is going to be one trip of a lifetime. That's for sure. Yeah. It's going to be super amazing. Hey, it was awesome seeing you there. And, and just, I mean, there's so much that happened at that, re, you know, at least that resort, but Cancun is an epically beautiful place, but if you know, prove it, they do everything. We do everything at another level. It's not normal. It's always scaled at a whole nother level. And so um, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I can't wait for them to announce the location and I can't wait for them to announce the dates because I'm, I'm just 
flipping excited. Uh, Brad, I don't know if you were able to unmute, but I'd love for you to share. I know you were able to be with us last year uh, there also. Um, and just share maybe one takeaway you had from, from last year going to Cancun with us. Yeah, hey, thanks, Dustin. Um, you know, I, the, I was just thinking about this. The notes that we took and that and that takeaway that mastermind with Brian and you and we did those the things we want better or more of in our life. I still have today. I carry them in my backpack and I, I look at them and go, that's what I wrote down. And there are things that I never wrote down before. And I just have to agree with Corey. There's something about going someplace a little bit farther. And by the way, it was a fantastic vacation. It was, it totally was awesome for me and Sue to be there. And, you know, we took a group of people down there and I'll tell you, I wish I could have taken like 20 more because we had so much fun and it wasn't just all business. It was fun and being around people and just talking to people that have the same similar mindsets. I went away with fully, totally charged. It was awesome. So well, that's awesome. It was great to see you guys there. Um, and uh, it was a fun trip. So I, I wanted to show you all that just because I want people like they sometimes don't know. Well, you know, it's kind of nice or I wouldn't mind going. But like it's this is an event that's different than any other event we're going to do, because a there's a qualification you have to you have to qualify. So we want you to work towards it. And there's a reason for that. Right. Coming out of the pandemic um, with the way the world is and the fact that all numbers are still a little restricted. So we had a restricted number of how many people we could take at one time logistically. So we had to create qualifiers. And, but there's a good thing on that too, because at the end of the day, different people are in different seasons of their business, right? I see Brad where he is in his business is different than it was a year ago. And he needed last year to get prepared for what's coming this year. And sometimes that we're all going through that. But one of the things I want to just kind of set for, I, I sent Ethan Godwin and uh, Jake Owens a picture from our very first better trip in Miami, or Miami, in Maui. And I remember that was kind of the beginning. This is how I want you to think about this. I want you to think about this. If you're going solo or you're going with your team, I want you to think about like, this is your, this is you starting to create your own mastermind group your own mastermind group. You're not necessarily under Cameron's or Kate's or Corey's or Brad's. You're under, or Samantha's. You're under yours. You, Shannon, you're under, your, you're going to bring your own mastermind group. You're going to be setting your own intentions and your own meanings, and they're going to be all part of Prove It. But that's what these events are about because this is where you get to really know people because they get to have fun. They're celebrating, they're learning, they're growing, they're stretching, right? If you don't have a passport in the chat right now, put down who has a passport. Yes, right before the jet boots. Yeah, Ethan, we, we had a quite an experience on those jet boots. But if you don't have a passport, I want you to tell me that you don't, I don't have a passport. Put down if you do not have one. Shannon, put it in that chat and guess what you're doing tomorrow. You're going to go get yourself a passport. Get to CVS, take a little mug shot. You got you to gotta, you gotta smile or not smile or like a straight face. And you get that thing entered because guess what? We can't be friends if you don't have a passport. Because you just never know where you're going to be like, hey, we're going to Bahamas. Hey, we're going to Italy. Hey, we're going to Germany. Hey, we're going to Cancun. You can't make it to Cancun if you don't have everything ready to go. So get I'm your going. passports now. As soon as a promoter comes on, the first thing they should do is go buy their, get their passport. Because otherwise they can't make it there. They can't get to their, they can't get to this destination, y'all. So I, you can feel my energy. I'm very excited. But this is what I, my outcome of this is I want, I want first off, um, I want people to understand what it takes to get there. I don't want people blindly trying to go without actually understanding a path to get there. And I'm going to break that down for y'all in a few minutes. Um, the second thing I want you to do is if you have questions, you're going to ask. I don't have a, pa Alan, get a passport. Leanne, you need a passport. I'm going, Shannon, you need a passport. Donna, you need a passport. Lola, are you kidding me, Lola? You and I are going to go rounds. We're going rounds. I'm getting a passport with the new last name. Awesome, Jordan. I don't have, Victoria, Veronica, sorry. Veronica, need a passport. Jamie, let's go. Let's go. I have one ready to go, Mike. I liked it, Mike D. All right, guys. So we got to have a passport. You, you see how, like, you understand, like, like you can, because like what happens is people wait and then it's like a stress that they add to themselves that they now have to overcome when it's not needed, you know? So get your passports. We actually had to renew ours. I'm not going to say what I had to do with my daughter who could, hers didn't arrive in time. We had to get her to Mexico. That was really tricky. So here's the deal. Um, this is what it takes to get to, to get to, um, to Cancun. The first thing you need to do is qualify. And let me ask you a question. Who's really good? Who can bring in three customers? Well, let me, before I do that, who's going? 
who's committing themselves to go to Cancun before I tell, tell the qualifications, like in your heart, in your heart's heart, who's going to Cancun, give me in the chat. Like, are you committed to it? Are have you decided I've watched about 45 Cancun videos in the last month. I'm just programming my brain. Cancun, 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 Cancun. Cause I got to read a message to you guys. I'm going to read a message to you guys. It's pretty exciting. What just I came in last night, kind of late, pretty funny, but I want to tell you a story. Uh, and you have to say, I will save that for the end. So if you're going to Cancun in the chat, I want to see who's going y'all. Let's see who's going. All right. Me, 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 me. Yes, we are. Uh, I heard the date was locked in. Do you know? I do not have any details. I know what you all ner nerd. I know what y'all nerd. Um, <laughs> um, okay. Here's the deal. So we first got to commit. We got to decide that we're going to take that step. Right? We got to have the proper tools. We need a passport. It is a requirement to go to Mexico to have a passport. And if anybody tells you you can just walk across the border and get down to Cancun, that doesn't always work and probably isn't going to work. So don't trust Michael when he says it, because Michael might just tell you that. Uh, we, we, uh, we got stuck at the border. That didn't work so well for us. So, all right. So get your passport. Make it simple on yourself. Here's the next thing is you got to get in. You got to get you got to get qualified. OK, you got to get qualified. And I want you to commit to this first because uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, bringing on brand new pro promoters is not something that I'm awesomely skilled at, but it's a, it's a skill I'm developing, all right? We have time. You have this month and the next two months to hit this. You have to get it two out of three months to hit it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna, you need to have at least two boxes of, of keto nat on smart chain, two boxes, it's 100 BV, you can have other stuff. But 100 BV, two boxes of keto yeah, nat on okay. smart chip. That's number one. Number two is you have to have at least two boxes of food shipped to your house in a 30 day period each month. Okay. That's to qualify. That's to get you to become a VIP. All right. So that is a standard. Y'all, and the proof of food is a game changer. I just, I actually throw it, sold, sold three different people today. And all I did is told them what Mandy said is I said, hey, listen. If you want to learn how to eat, do prove it foods for 30 days. It'll teach you like portion control. And they're like, done. That I don't want to think about it. Just tell me what to do. It was really cool how simple it was. Um, I thought it was kind of fun because I approached it differently. But that's another side note. And then number three, you have to hit pace setter. You have to hit pace setter. So what does pace setter require? It is get two promoters and three customers. Two promoters and three customers. Now, the promoters have to buy a pack. And get three customers that have 100 i think it's 100 bv minimum i don't actually have that right in front of me is that correct or 50. anybody know that off the top of their head quick samantha what was the question the pace setter is it 100 bv or is it it's 50? 50. 50 okay perfect so you have to get two promoters that buy a pack right any pack will do and get three customers in your in your and you'll hit pace setter so you have to qualify by hitting pace setter okay that's the key. How do you hit pace setter? We can do our next action zoom. We'll do a training on how to hit it. Basically, it's time to start asking your customers that are loyal customers to see if they want to do more with you. That's the simplest path. You already have you already have street credit with them. It's asking your current customers if they want to do more with you, if they want to play a bigger role, if they want to win a trip to Cancun. Do they want to earn a trip to Cancun? That, that's a little nice little perk, by the way. I've been using that very and it's working very, very well. So okay. Um all right, so you hit pace setter, you qualify. Um, and then the last thing you can do is there's a certain amount of points that you're gonna have to qualify to hit. Listen, I'm telling everybody right now, don't worry about the points, just focus on being a VIP and hitting pace setter. Because without that, nothing else will matter. Nothing else will get you there. So that has to be the focus. That has to be the focus. And then everything else is an added bonus. Okay, everything else is an added bonus. And without going through all the crazy details, the other couple little things that you can do and I want you to really write these down because these will be the secret to your business anyway, is that you can buy a max brand builder pack and use it for trials. You get five coins for that, five tokens. You can do that for three months. So that's an added bonus. So Shannon, who's doing trials like out of control, get a max brand builder pack, get that thing out, right? That's five tokens. Do it again the next month, five tokens. Do it again the next month, five tokens. And then take those promoters and help them go MVP. Take those new promoters and help them go MVP. That's all I would have you guys focus on. Now you can go further into this and be, without overwhelming people, get the sheet, have it on your desk because it'll teach you exactly what to do. But what I found is that if I think about too many things, I go nowhere. If you focus on just the simplicity, first thing is, is get your product, two, two boxes on SmartShip, get two boxes of food shipped to your house. 
Okay, that's number one. Number two is you got to hit pay center, which is two customers or three customers and two promoters every month. Who doesn't want that anyway, right? Wouldn't that be a good goal to hit every month anyway? Does that make sense? Is it going to be easy for everybody? Uh-uh. But it's not designed to be easy. It's designed to challenge you to launch your new business coming out of this pandemic and taking, the, taking Cancun by storm and to qualify for you for Cancun. So I'm going to shut up. Anybody have questions there? Uh, anybody that knows other rules that thinks I need to say something that I didn't say? Um, uh, pace setter is by month. So it goes by the 30-day calendar, just so you know. Dustin, I have a question. It's Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Hey. Um, so I had a couple of questions for my team today, and I couldn't answer it. So this is probably a great time because if they have those questions, maybe other people do. Um, if you... Uh, qualify and you do everything however you're not in the top 75 can you still come on your own oh that's a great question i don't know i mean there's nothing that's anybody's going to stop you the challenge is is like oh, logistically the company's going to have rooms and things like that all locked out so like a conference room and things like that might be impeded but if it's you know if if you're coming to the resort i it's your vacation. You can do what the heck ever you want to do. But I would say just manage expectations of what you can contribute into and what you can't. We actually had that in a couple of our events that happened uh, early on where people, they, they literally, they came, but they, we didn't know they were there and we we're trying to get them to just coordinate everything. Cause there'll be meals, there'll be events, there'll be things that the company will be providing for us. And so if they have to know the numbers pretty clean. And so that's why there's a, a guideline in there. So I would say, I mean, nothing stopping me from going. Um, I just have to have an expectation of what I can participate in with the company, but doesn't mean I can't collaborate with masterminds and meetings and everything else. Team Thank stuff, you. Right. Thank You're you. Welcome. You're welcome. Uh, somebody asked is food all three months. Yes. Food all three months get endorsed um, all three months. Uh, and the food is amazing. Y'all mine just arrived today, uh, a day early, which is super awesome because we were running out. Uh, any other questions for me? Anybody else, anybody else questions, anything that they need to know? Um, now that you know the details of hitting pace setter, and now I want you to be your own best cop, worst cop, if you don't mind. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to challenge you a little bit. And what is your certainty of qualifying? What is your certainty? A one out of 10, 10 is your 100% certain you're going to qualify. And a one, you're like, I don't know. Um, if you're going to qualify, what's your certainty of qualify and you all, you in Canada, it's game on in Canada, y'all Australia, you're opening up. I know Chanel is qualifying silver is coming from Singapore. We literally going to have international people around the world flying in for this. This is a big deal. This is a big event. This is something that's going to shift the trajectory of your business. I can look back for our very first better trip. And, and hey, listen, not everybody that's a legend came to our first better trip, by the way, uh, actually quite a few didn't. But I can look back at our first better trip and show you the trajectory of people's lives that had changed with that trip, because it's just going to be another level, something that very few seven. All right, Veronica, let's build up that confidence, Tiffany, Liz, let's build that confidence. Let's get that. Let's take that to the next step. Right. Start identifying where do you feel that like you need to you need to hone in on and let's hone in on that skill. Let's sharpen that sword. If you're having a hard time having a promoter conversation, what I want you to do is get on with your team leader and start talking about like literally do a, a 30 minute mastermind. If Lynn goes, hey, Dustin, I don't know how to have the promoter conversations. I got customers coming in. I have conversations coming in. I don't know what to say. Well, let's get on and role play. Let's get on and talk through that. Let's 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 sharpen that sword instead of just go, oh, well, good luck. Right. That's the that's the point of the team. Does that make sense? If you're good at attracting and you're not getting, I, I know Nicole hit me. She's like, I got all these TikTokers going on, but I don't know how to convert them, right? So we got on and we strategized on ways to move people into different directions so that she could get those into better relationships and better action. I hope that makes sense, right? So I want you to really look at these numbers, write them down. And I know there's 40 some people on this, 57 people on Zoom and only about 20 people replied. So what that tells me is that either people aren't playing full out or there's more uncertainty out there. Um, or you're just all so damn certain you don't even care. You're like, I'm crushing this thing. But honestly, I want you to really look at this because you have the opportunity right now to sharpen a skill that you need to sharpen to have success and prove it long-term. The Cancun is like a sinking point. It's a lily pad, it's huge. So this right now in the next four months, it's giving us all the tools that we need 
like from a from a from a, a Michael's analogy of a lily pad, like go hit this, go hit this, go hit this. So look at this. I'm gonna back up. So think about this. Go hit this, 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 go hit this. Mission to a million, right? So it's given us every step of the way. So if there's an area that you're stuck at, right? Maybe you have all, maybe you're 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 in Asia and you have a really good time bringing on promoters and you can't sign up customers. Yes, that was a problem for Asia. They would bring in, they would sign up all promoters and no customers. True story. And so we had to sharpen that skill. We had to sharpen that saw for them to learn how to talk to people about the about being a customer. Because they would just sign up as a promoter, even though if they weren't going to promote or not, right? So this is the opportunity because this is the same skills that you're going to want to have to grow your business. Does that make sense? I know we talk a lot about attracting and connecting, and those things are really important. But how do we also have the real conversation, right? Has Shannon, have you sat down and talked to your sister and said, listen, this is what I've done over the last three months. I'm going to Cancun. Want to come with me? Let's go earn this. I don't know if she got on, but I have a, a customer. We have a, a promoter in Iowa and she's work, talking to her customers that connected to me. And I'm like, hey, do you want to go to Cancun with Jennifer? She goes, yeah, I go come learn how. So I invite her to do this Zoom. Why not? Why not? Like, come check it out. I have two customers on this Zoom right now. Why not? We're going to, we're, I'm here. Hey, Jennifer, but did she, did, uh, did the other Jen uh, or uh, Kelly get on? I don't remember her name, sorry. Um, but here's the cool thing. Is that it's just, if that's what you need to sharpen that 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 tool to have that conversation, then let's start practicing that. Does that make sense? So, team leaders, I want you to all think about that too a little bit. If that's a hard conversation for your team to have, let's start sharpening that skill. And it's not about selling. It's not about a presentation. It's a conversation about hey, we're going to Cancun. There's an opportunity for you to come join us. Do you want to check it out? Sure. What does that look like with $1 Keto Club? What I've been doing to improve it. This is my story. Here you can get started. Connect to your team leader. I hope that all makes sense. Um, I had a new customer, customer on March 6th. Will she count since she is during more? I believe everything in March counts. I believe based on what I saw, everything that's happened in March will qualify. So keep that in mind. I have a lengthy question. Um, uh, Nicole, hit me back unless it's really valuable. Um, if it's really long, then hit me back on privately. But if you think it's valuable to everybody else, unmute and tell me. And then we're going to wrap this up in a minute. It's, I think everybody would actually, it's not like really lengthy, but what if a, like, we're already halfway through March. Yeah. So, like, we're, you know, like bringing on new promoters right now, you know, you have to have them two boxes of food. And so bringing them on, you know, how do we... Don't worry about what their qualifications are. Worry about your qualifications. Because new promoters, anybody that's new, they're not, they're not following the same pattern as we are. You're still no, getting but, them to do the same thing. So a no, new promoter that comes on doesn't have to qualify people, the same way. But you're saying, tell people, you know, we want to go to Cancun with you. We want to go to Cancun with me. Yeah. You know, to get them to sign up. So that's where I'm like, well, that's it's, it's, hard. It's, it's, another, it's, another, it's another attraction, right? Cancun's an attraction. Oh, okay. So it's a correction okay. to have the conversation about what you're doing. Does that make sense? And it's a really good attraction piece because people want to go places. I mean, if you're in Canada, any, how about Canadians out there? Do you guys, uh, you guys want to get out of Canada for a while? <laughs> They're like locked in. Um, so Cancun is an attraction piece. Cancun is a, a way to get people to have another conversation. It's the ability to talk about more than what you're doing. Well, how are you going to earn a trip to Cancun? Well, this is what I'm going to do. I've been with Prove It for this amount of time. This is why I joined. This is what I've been doing. This is what I love about the product. And yeah, we have an opportunity to go kick some butt and get a free trip to or a paid for trip to Cancun. Um, you want to check it out? Does that make sense? Cool. Yeah, don't worry about qualifiers for the new people. Just have them do the same thing you're doing, and they'll have different qualifications as it goes as the months go on. So, um, and we'll have those details coming. Uh, perfect, 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 y'all. Hey, I'm going to wrap this thing up. I wanted to get on and just have this conversation because um, what happens after an event, we get so focused on so many things and we, we miss the simplicity of what we need to do. So first thing is get your passport, right? If I'm going to show you guys something. You guys want to see this? This is my travel backpack. You guys all see my travel backpack? This is how serious I take this stuff. This is my travel backpack. This is my passport. It stays in my travel backpack and has a special holder and it never leaves ever because I never know when I'm going to get a call 
from Brian or Michael or whoever says, Hey, I want to go, want to go to Columbia. And I'm like, sure, got my passport. And I just go with them. I'm, I'm, I'm on a flight. I'm, I'm there. Right now. That's crazy. But that wasn't me before, before it was like, Oh, I don't know. Let me wait two months and see if I can figure things out. It's just have it ready. That's number one. Number two, let's make sure we get a VIP, become a VIP. That means 100 BV yourself. Yes, prove it bucks count. If you get your product for free, that all counts as long as 100 BV and get two boxes of food a month. And then pace setters the key. That is the focus. That's the foundation. That's the fundamentals. That's what we have to focus on to hit this thing. And I want you to print everything out, get visual, have pictures of Cancun right there. I have it, I have it marked in my account or my uh, right here. See a little mark right there. I don't know if you can see that, but I have it marked on my map. Uh, Cancun's coming. Like get it in your brain and let's go win. Let's win big. Last thing I want to end this with is this, is that the core or the core four challenge, the next entry of the core four challenge is on April or March 20th. So we have four days to get people into the challenge. And why that's so huge, why that's so important is because in the next um, the next wave of challenges, we're going to spread them out a little bit. They won't be in 30 days or 35 or 40 day increments. They're going to be three month, month increments. So it's really important. This is the time. And I'm going to tell you a secret. Our team crushed it in the beginning of the month. We were, and Blake is like, dude, like, it seems like everybody's on your guys' squad and our team crushed it. And so it's easy to kind of get distracted. But listen, we have a guy on here right now that's won $10,000 on the Core 4 Challenge. And there's no reason that we can't win every single one of them. Not at all. So let's, if you're not committed, I would commit yourself to the Core 4 Challenge. Let's go do it. I'm doing mine. I started last week. I'm a week into this one. Um, but commit yourself to the Core 4 Challenge because it is a great recruiting tool, but only if you're doing it. If you're not doing it, then it's pretty tough. So um y'all any other questions quick before we hop off Derek's like I'm gonna win again I'm gonna hey Derek you don't mind if you, I don't I don't know if you're busy or not but if you have a second can you unmute for a second just say what it felt like to win that ten thousand dollars put him on the spot it was uh it was one of the highest moments of my life it was pretty great well we're proud of you um our heart goes out to you and your family um and um you 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 deserve to win that in so many ways um that weekend and uh and y'all just so you know um Derek he already started again he's like I I'm going to continue my journey I'm not stopping that journey so core 42 is on its way and he's like I'm going to win again I'm going for it and I'm going to win that trip to Cancun and I just admire your um your tenacity um your focus and your, your loyalty to your journey um, and your family's journey with it. So, but once again, our, our heart, hearts go out to you and your family. Um, uh, and I think you've probably felt a little bit of perfect support um, throughout this journey for you. And we'll continually pray for you and think about you and, um, and congratulations on that big win. Thank you. And then let's go get more people winning, right? How cool is it to be the first winner and then have 20 people behind you win it? That's when it's fun. That's when it's cool. So y'all, um, I appreciate you, Derek. Thank you all for being on tonight. If you have questions, get back to one of our, te our team leaders. We'll help guide, educate. Um, but it, the first step is in you to commit to that journey, commit to that process, and let's go change uh, our lives and why we help other people change their lives. So y'all have an unbelievable Wednesday night. Appreciate you all. And Cancun, here we come. Bye y'all.